I just want to thank you for being here on this special occasion, uh, on this day that we will honor the likely more than 10,000 African American soldiers who helped to liberate the Netherlands during World War II. In particular, those who sacrificed their lives. There is a famous saying, all gave some, some gave all. And that's definitely true of the soldiers buried in Margraden. Here in Margraden, everyone is remembered equally. After all, death knows no color. Life did. Um, we can see it when we look at the story of Jefferson Wiggins and the grave diggers uh, who helped to dig more than 10,000 graves in Mark Rodham alone. We see it in the stories of the supporting troops that were so vital to the war effort. Only recently we have found out that 172 of the African American soldiers were buried in the Netherlands. We have about 75% of all soldiers buried and memorialized in the Netherlands. For this particular group of soldiers, not even 20%. That's how little we know. So we um, made this website and we first made the distinction for every soldier by state. So for example, we have the District of Columbia right here and we have four soldiers over here. We have uh, Franklin Thomas, uh, James Radout, Robert Tate, and Hubert Wheeler. We have several documents, and for the whole DMV, we got 18 soldiers in total. And through the system, we have found 20 families so far. But as Sebastian also explained, we can only find so much through the archives. We also need to find the families and talk to the families. I think now, 75 years after the war, we have an opportunity to finally give proper recognition to their service and sacrifice. And I think that's very much what this project tries to do.